Aaron, a little bit of a nightmare first inning for Sanchez and Severino. Why do you think Sanchez had some difficulty handling Severino? Um, not sure. I mean, we got he, he's been so good since he's come back, um, you know, behind the plate and, and the way he's moving. Um, obviously, a tough inning there. Good thing is I thought he reined it in and, and caught caught well the rest of the game but that's just something we'll have to look at if he got a little out of whack mechanically we'll look at the video and and see if we can't correct that but um you know obviously a, just a tough first inning all around that you know frustrating when we have a chance to you know win a series coming off a game in which we played so well uh to go out and you know have really good at bats in that first inning i felt like and and not come through and then um and then give it up there in the first it's uh it was a bad way to start the night what do you say to sanchez after an inning like that <clears throat> compete uh keep on fighting which he did and um you know so that was that was encouraging i thought from from there on out i, th I thought he received the ball well uh, i thought he had good at bats again tonight um but you know it, we also got to learn from it and uh and uh, but I'm, I'm glad he flipped the page real quick and, and didn't let it become be, become a bad night all all together. But obviously a tough night for us overall. Severino seemed like he was getting hit hard as well. What was the issue on his end? You know, I think it was just command again early. You know, he's had some trouble in that first inning, obviously. Um, you know, it seemed like maybe the velocity was a tick down. I thought he, I thought he shaped some good sliders in that first inning. Lowry hit a 3-1 change, but it was right there in his happy zone. Uh, you know, so again, location, location, you know, if, you know, especially against a team like Oakland that's, that swings the bat as well as they do, that's playing as well as they do, we really got to come out on top of your game early and, uh, and that wasn't the case tonight, and they made him pay in that first inning. Do you get concerned that he has not found consistency again yet at this point in time well, of the season? I, I mean, I think we're concerned, but I also think we've seen enough signs that, that feel like he started to climb out of it a little bit, and, and this obviously a little bit of a bump in the road and a setback for him that we got to dive into and, and again get on top of that you know, first inning stuff where I don't think he's quite as sharp and... Um, you know, we got we to gotta all come together and fix it because he's so important to us. Aaron Gary, he's, he's leading the league in pass balls now. I mean, after even with all the time he's missed, and he's up there in wild pitches allowed. And those are, you know, two of the big mm -hmm. problems last year. I mean, is, is, is he regressed defensively, or do you think he's gotten... I actually think going into tonight, I think he's been in a really good place uh, since he's come back, and, and the work we've seen behind the scenes. Again, I think tonight is a really tough inning for him and and we've got to you know dive in and look at if, if we if there's something we see a little bit maybe mechanically that was a reason for that um we've got to dive into that but i think i, I do feel like he's actually made progress here especially coming back from injury and where he's at the way he's receiving the ball the way he's framing the way he's getting some strikes for us um and in some of these games since he's come back especially some games where we won i feel like he's been um really efficient defensively um but you know we just gotta keep working at it I mean, given all that is, it, is that not jarring to watch it happen in a game because i mean it is a major league game he's a major league catcher you know mistakes happen but it seemed like it really compounded there despite all these positives so is that a jarring thing to watch from the dugout as it's happening yeah i mean it's it's tough right there um you know to see him especially again to see where he's come from and to see the work and to see it get away from him a little bit in that first inning the, the only thing i can say is that i'm glad it didn't compound itself and continue the rest of the night i thought from there on i thought he caught well and Again, we just got to dive in, look at it, and 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 get our, you know, get our arms around it and help him to get be more consistent. Did, he, did you communicate with him at all at all in the dugout? Did you ask him what the problem was or what was going wrong? Did you get a chance to have that conversation? Um, I did not specifically have that those conversations with him yet, but we, you know, we talk about things through coaches and and stuff like that. Are you concerned about the team's general level of play lately? Well, I want to get it rolling. No question about it, and uh, you know I, I think we're we're doing some things well, but we're not certainly rolling like we're we're capable of. Um, you know we're starting to get some guys back, which is really important. Um, but no question, we got we got to play better if we want to get to where we want to go. We've got to 
you know we've got to we've got to play better. Period. I mean, we can talk about it and um, and analyze it or whatever, but we have the people in that room capable of getting this thing done. And you know, it, it's time we start getting consistent and start stringing get together games to where we're we're playing up to our capabilities. Aaron, that was your opening day battery, and you know, mm -hmm. presumably if in do or die game, that's your you know battery for that game. So, do you feel like there's enough time between now and? when that begins for those guys to get back on the same page that you saw them at earlier in the year. No doubt. And if that game were tomorrow, mm -hmm. would those two guys be your guys? Well, Seve would need four days off. So no, it would not be. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like, <clears throat> um, I mean, we have a few weeks for that kind of stuff to unfold and see where we're at and we'll make those decisions as we go but do i think those two are capable of going out and shoving absolutely how much of a difference in the way uh, i mean take uh, the crowd out of it but if if you're playing them in a uh, one game playoff just that the game is played in, in a stadium like yankee stadium with the dimensions compared to compared to here how does that I mean is that a factor at all I mean I'll take our group against anyone wherever we wherever we end up whoever we're playing we're playing right we got a shot against anyone